great English cellist and pedagogue, William Pleath, he uh, used to talk about making sound. He says it's like taking a walk in your bare feet on uneven ter terrain so that you feel all of the pebbles and the stones and everything. You feel that all of these things are happening underneath the bow. So we can play, for example, if I play the Brahms E minor just with a good bow without thinking of any of that. Uh, So I was purposely trying to leave out inflection now, but then what do we do if we're, if we're trying to think of a, a mood, a mystery, a darkness? You take my expression, touch it like you want it to feel. Uh, you touch it carefully, you draw out the sound that you want and you become, now there's all of this chemistry which is so hard to explain, but the player, feels the cello and hears the cello and gets sensitive to us, kind of it's a feedback loop where you're sort of sensing how to pull it, how fast to pull it, how much weight to put down. So if I want a different kind of mood, if I want a denser mood, I can change it and I can change it infinitely and then there's shaping. Are we going to take this first note and we're going to go Or do we want to shape it maybe to the next bar? So there's the shape of the phrase, there's the mood, there's the color, there's that infinite number of bow speeds, and then there's what the vibrato is doing uh, along with all of that to help support and help create mood. That's what interpretation uh, is about. That's really the fun of playing the instrument.